and uh, to work on different different things. Like for example, we have a non uh, office on violence against women, a, uh, an office of battered women. It would be so everybody can come in. It belongs to the court. It has 170 people working there, round the clock, 24 hours. It's never closed in eight years, not a minute. And there we have medical doctors, psychologists, social workers, and lawyers. It's no judge there. There we have, a, we draw a risk assessment after making a formal, what people say verbally, what the woman says verbally, into a formal phrase that can go to a criminal court or to a civil court. Usually it goes to both because the case has some criminal aspects and some family aspects. And then this, uh, here we have a risk assessment which is very important for judges because the risk assessment, I'm sorry to say that it used to be four months before, which means it was no good at all. Now in 24 hours or the same day, people can get an injunction because with the risk assessment, it's all done. The medical doctor uh, usually has to, it usually is the case, he looks at the injuries, they take photographs, they make a diagnosis and they write it down. So with that, people haven't got to go again and again and explain the story. The Supreme Court does everything for them. Maybe if they don't have a lawyer, there is public defense that works in the office, criminal and civil. And also we have the, that our employees accompany the person to the court of law. So they accompany them when they're taking the case. And we also refer them to some, uh, there is some law defense, free law defense. We refer them to them, we give them some, and then I've got a, well, with the mayor, I had a, uh, we could say an agreement, in which the hospitals have some places for us, shelters also, it's very difficult to get a shelter, but people who come to the, our office get a shelter, because we have an agreement. And then when people are very severely injured or they can't even get out of the house, the Minister of Justice has an on-the-spot uh, group that brings them to the office. So then they're coming to the office by the Ministry of Justice and Human Rights work. Though there were many male men who had at least, at least similar, if not less, reputation than I had, but well, after that, I got to the Court of Appeals. I was another 17 years there. And now, uh, in 2004, I was the first woman to get appointed to the Supreme Court. Uh, in Argentina, at this point, there is a movement, a very important movement in the Women Judges Association, the Argentine Women Judges Association to get more women in the courts, especially in the Supreme Court. Hola, Argentina! <laughs> well, I think in case of Zambia, we had no women of the high court bench until in the early 80s. I was only the third to be appointed to the high court bench. And since then, a lot more women have been appointed new courts have been created. So as at now, there are about four of us in the Supreme Court. We have created a new constitutional court which is headed by women. We have created a new court of appeal again headed by a woman. So I do not doubt that at the time that I was appointed, I think there was a deliberate move to have more women on the bench. Quite apart from saying that uh, I was found capable, but I think there was need to have more women on the bench. Okay. In, in, in uh, some uh, countries' jurisprudence, this is called affirmative action. Others talk about it as positive uh, discrimination or uh, other forms of ways in which people are looking to do so. And I just want to underscore that you're seeing 
what wonderful was produced by paying attention to the composition. Teresita, and then there. Um, good morning. I'm now two and a half years to my retirement. Retirement in the Philippines is compulsory at age 70. So this is the time for me to reflect on my career in, in, in law. So I always recall that when I, I just graduated from law school, that was in 1972, and waiting for the bar examination results. You know, in the Philippines, it took a long time for results to come out because we do everything manually. And there are eight subjects to, or eight subjects, combination booklets to check. And um, there are thousands.